oh my god it just smells so sweet hello oh it just smells so good these lips Hi guys, <laughs> I can't even remember my name. Hi guys, it's Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well, wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is launch day for Valentine's. Are you excited? I am, love is in the air, and I actually think this is the best Valentine's Day range that Lush have brought out in a very long time. So I'd love to know your opinions at the end of it. I know green isn't very Valentine's-y, um, but I've made my makeup all pink and sparkly for the event. So, I'm gonna take you through absolutely everything. So if you like the sound of that, let's stay tuned. First off, let me have a look what we got here. We've got one of the cutest little ones. This is the little love letter bath bomb. So this is it here, I'm filming at night, sorry. This is the love letter bath bomb. It smells so good. This is four pounds. And I think this smells a lot like yummy mummy. It's very sweet and strawberry and fruity. It's got little candy hearts in there. So if you remember uh, Think Pink from back in the day, it's kind of on that similar sort of a vibe. It's white, obviously, with these little pink bits. Let's see, I've got my notes in front of me so I can give you all the deets. So inside your love letter bath bomb, excuse me, I will look at my phone, but I just want to make sure that I get everything right. You have got sodium bicarb, citric acid, tapioca starch, coconut milk powder, so lovely and soothing and creamy, adds a bit of decadence to the bath. Fair trade organic cocoa butter, titanium dioxide, bergamot oil, olibanum oil, geranium oil. Now, absolutely adorable, and if you want to send or gift something really cute to a loved one, this is the one to go for, and it's only four pounds. Then we have got one of my favourite things, which is, where are you? Here it is. Oh my God, it smells so good. It is this little love potion. I love the designs this year, like super, really well thought through. So you've got popping candy in here and little candy hearts that will float away on the bath. Now let me have a smell. Oh my God, it just smells so sweet and yummy. I'm trying to work out what the smell is. It smells creamy. I know it's something familiar. Well, what is it? Let's have a look. It is the same smell as the Kiss Lip Scrub. Now, I never liked the Kiss Lip Scrub, but this smells so good. And obviously it's purple. Purple is my favorite color. So it's always gonna be my favorite. So inside here, it's, by the way, it's 375. So a lovely, affordable little present for someone or if you wanna treat yourself. Sodium bicarb, citric acid, popping candy, Sicilian red mandarin oil, almond essential oil, orris root powder. So that's what adds that kind of lovely kind of powdery floral sort of scent to it. Um, corn starch, titanium dioxide, water and talc. This is very, very sweet. It's yummy. Um, so the obviously, uh, uh, yeah, orris root powder, sweet and powdery. See, I know my stuff. I just love it. So that is that there. Bye, Mr. Love Potion. I'm gonna put you over there. You can definitely, I like, you can make some bath potions for your true love if you wanted to this Valentine's Day. Then we've got this massive one here. Where are you? Here it is. It's a big one. This is Big Squeeze and it's £5.50. Look how sweet that is. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of? You know, like those BFF um, necklaces that you used to get when you were like a kid from Claire's Accessories, where you would like break it in half and then you would have one half and your best friend would have one half and you could lock it up when you saw each other. It kind of reminds me of that. And it's it does say that, you know, you could snap it in half and share it with a loved one. But it's really like fruity. We were talking about this the other day when we were smelling them and it reminds me and other people who, who have smelt this a lot of like sweet tarts. So if you remember those like uh, sweet tarts that you can get in America or like the Willy Wonka sweet tarts that we used to get in the UK, it smells a lot like this and it's pink and purple. It smells delicious. It's What is the same smell? Yes, it's the same smell as Vampire Kisses Lip Scrub. I like how a lot of this stuff are all like scents from like old lip products, you know, 
smoochy smoochy for Valentine's Day. Uh, sodium bicarb, citric acid, cornstarch, juniper berry oil, sweet wild orange oil, water, carrageenan extract, agar agar, titanium dioxide talc. So your agar agar is nice and moisturising, your carrageenan obviously is skin softening um, and mm, it is the juniper berry oil adds a woody and fresh note. It's I like the smell of this, it's grown on me. This is a definitely a grower of a smell, but one last look at these absolute cutie pies. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. I need lighting on this side. So I'm gonna pop that up there. I don't know why I'm not putting them back in the bags, but hey ho, that's just me. We've got this one here. This is Whispering Heart. So this is a gorgeous bright pink bath bomb with a red love heart and a little love heart hole in the middle. Mm. Smells really sweet, rhubarb and custard scented. So if you like the rhubarb and custard soap, you're gonna love this. Smells like pick and mix from when we were little, uh, if you were a UK baby. Um, this little hole here, if you've ever had Ni Worry Pa bath bomb, they brought loads of like the old school products and, uh, sorry, old school bath bombs and Harajuku bath bombs in, in 2018, 2019 for that big launch and Ni Worry Pa, it had a little hole in there so you could whisper in your worries and then you would dissolve them away. Well in here you can whisper your crush's name or you could write a little note and pop it inside so when you give it to your crush or to your loved one they can have a nice message from you. It smells really Fruity. The more I smell it now, the more I smell the rhubarb and custard soap. It smells divine. And obviously it's a nice big bath bomb. And this has in it um, sodium bicarb, citric acid, uh, Epsom salt, so great for soothing achy muscles. Then you've got bergamot oil, Brazilian orange oil, water, titanium dioxide. So very uplifting, very yummy. But if you like your foody smells, like your sweety smells, you're gonna really, really, really love this. Now one, oh, I can't believe I forgot to pick this up. I was just so excited by the entire range. I was just like grabbing stuff and I completely forgot to pick up, but it's the Love Burger Bath Bomb. So if you've seen the Krabby Bathy Bath Bomb from years go by, when I get it, I will do a short comparing the two because I've still not used my Krabby Bathy, but it's in that same format. It's in the most amazing box that opens up and spirals out. It's got gorgeous wrapping paper. You've got two cherry scented burger bun bath bombs. You've got two slices of soap, which are um, rhubarb and custard scented. Uh, the soap is in the shape of a little heart and they, that has real tomato in it and then the lettuce has real lettuce in just like the Krabby Baffy. And then the burger patty is um, like a lemon zest, a Sicilian lemon zest scent. It's lovely. Um, I'm going to assume maybe like the the lemon zest soap. Uh, it's £14 but you've got a full routine there. You've got multiple uses so you could get, depending on how bougie or um, more bath cocktail oriented you are, you could get like four baths out of it if you want to split the patty in half and have the two bath bombs uh, over separate baths or you could have like three baths or you could have one and a bit baths and then obviously you've got your body wash with the soap but it's such a sweet gift to give to someone. It's, it's a proper little pamper in a box. It's gorgeous and it says fancy a bath on the patty as well. It's really cute and it's a nice size just like the Krabby Bathy as well. So I'm gutted. I didn't pick that up to show you but I am getting it because it is so cool and the packaging is amazing and I love the packaging for the Krabby Bathy as well. I've got a couple that I've not picked up mainly because I've had them before or they're not smells for me but the first one is Lovebug. Lovebug is returning blue, pink, yellow, smells like sherbet dip, makes the most amazing bath art like so neon and, and, and just beautiful. Uh, it turns out kind of like a sparkly purple. It is six pounds. The ingredients for the Love Bug are sodium bicarb, citric acid, Sicilian lemon oil, organic sweet wild orange, uh, you've got rose oil, water, cream of tartar, titanium dioxide, cornstarch. Now I didn't know that it had rose in it, um, but it smells so good. So we've got a return of this year. This is the flower bombshell bath bomb. This is for like the bougie gifter in your life, uh, if you want to drop them a little hint. Um, it's £14. It's slightly changed its design. So this year it is 
pink on the top and pebble on the bottom, but inside are some beautiful dried flower petals. So again, you can have this over like two baths, sprinkle some petals in. So, you know, you could gift it and then draw your loved one a gorgeous decadent bath. So inside you've got a uh, sodium bicarb, citric acid, coarse sea salt, again, really soothing uh, for achy muscles and softening on the skin, soybean flour, Pakistani rose absolute, rose oil, geranium oil, Sicilian lemon oil, titanium dioxide, cream of tartar, water, talc, corn starch. Now, if you don't know the scent for this, it is rose jam scented, so we've got loads of things that, there are loads of things that smell like rose jam. There is the perfume, you've got black rose bath bomb, rose jam bubble bar, JC in the argan oil uh, shampoo bar. There's so much stuff that smells like rose jam. The flowers that you get inside here are dried pink um, delphinium of petals, dried blue mallow flowers, dried blue larkspur, dried sunflower petals, corn flowers, rosebuds, marigold flowers. So it's a nice mixture of colours as well, very pastel hues. It's beautiful. Oh, and apparently the bombshells are gonna be staying, this bombshell is gonna be staying through till Mother's Day, which is really nice. You can treat your loved one or treat your mom. That's really nice. Then we've got a returner from last year. So this was an exclusive to the kitchen boxes. They brought it out last year for Valentine's or was it Easter? One of the two. And this is the Strawberry Cumble Bubble Rune. It is eight pounds. It is, um, oh, what is, the, what is the smell of that? It is, uh, you shall go to the ball, Mr. Lubba Lubba smell. Um, the Barbie Bee Bath Bomb. Uh, so you've got this beautiful bubbly bar and then you've got the whipped cocoa butter in the middle for extra moisture on the skin. It's cute, it smells so good. You can get two good sized baths out of it. I'm greedy, I get one. <laughs> um, but you've got in here sodium bicarb, uh, cream of tartar, uh, fair trade organic cocoa butter, cornstarch, Sicilian lemon oil, Tonka Absolute, fresh strawberries, fair trade shea butter, soybean flour. It's just really sweet and yummy and you know strawberries on valentine's day sexy yeah um and then something new something new let me have a look where are you speaking of bff necklaces they have made this year which is so sweet the bff bubble bar because you know valentine's day is lovely but what about galentine's day you know don't have a date treat your mate so it smells just like butterball, really creamy, sweet, vanilla-y. If you like those sweeter baths, if you want like butterball, but you want it to go further, then the BFF Bubble Bar is definitely the one for you or for that loved one in your life. It's lovely size, face for scale. Yeah, there you go, face for scale, hello. It's seven pounds. And in here you've got sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, fair trade organic cocoa butter. So again, just like the, uh, Butterball bath bomb. Then you've got titanium dioxide, ylang ylang oil, glycerin, water, cornstarch, traganth gum. It's just super sweet. Again, you could snap this in half so you and your BFF could have a really sweet treat bath each. It's just lush. That is all the bath for Valentine's Day. I would love for you to know. I would love to know what you think of all the bath stuff. Which new products are you excited to try? Is there some ones that you wish had come back? I'm really surprised that Mr. Lubba Lubba hasn't come back. Okay, so next up, something I'm really, really excited about. This is the Passion Shower Gel. Can we take a moment for how this looks? It is the most magnificent metallic red apple shade. There's actually, I. There is a, an Aston Martin shop in Newcastle, it's in the Silver Link, and they had this candy red apple coloured Aston Martin, and I am not the biggest fan of red, but I swear to God, I love candy apple red. It is such a juicy, divine colour. So, very apt for this, and I am so hyped for it, because you might be thinking, but didn't you just get something that was passion? Uh, and, well, passion fruit, and I'm like, yeah, we did, from the kitchen box. So I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but I'm gonna talk about the passion shower gel. So this comes in three sizes. You've got a small for eight, the medium for 16, and then the large for 27. I wanna drown myself in this, it smells so good. Um, let me open it up. Oh, it just smells so good. 
and I regret getting a smaller bottle. I might get a larger one after payday. So it says, a love fueled by passion and commitment deserves a lustrous shower gel. Lather in a fresh red rose infusion, mix in with a mesmerizing luster and sweet passion fruit juice. I mean, it's everything. Now, if I had read that initially and just thought rose, I, I would have got a little bit worried because, you know, I'm not a big rose fan. But this... <sighs> It is exactly the same smell as the Passion Fruit Delight body wash. You know, it's squishy cute from, from a pre... Uh, was it last... Did we have that last Valentine's? I think we did. Um, and it just is in cred. So you've got glycerin. Um, you've got uh, water, red rose petal infusion. So anything with rose in is really good for sensitive skin. It's really soothing. Then you've got fine sea salt, lactic acid, has a bit of brightening to the skin. Um, then you've got fresh and pas fresh passion fruit juice, butchu oil, litsy kebaba oil, sweet wild orange oil, titanium dioxide, corn syrup. You, so your butchu oil adds like almost like that like juicy berry uh, to it. And then your litsy kebaba, you find that in things like um, your avocado core wash, so like a citrusy, yummy sort of a scent. It is just divine and I cannot stress enough how everybody needs to go smell this shower gel. And as I was saying before, you might be thinking, Sarah, didn't you get a passion fruit shower gel scrub um, in the kitchen box? And I did get a passion fruit shower gel um, in the, the, the kitchen box and I'll just let you have a look at the difference. They are completely different in colour. Um, but this is different. This is the same smell as the Princess Peach body spray so it's a lot more of an effervescent kind of fruit cocktail sort of a smell there's no when i smell it i don't necessarily think passion fruit whereas when i smell this i think of sorry well when i smell this i think of passion fruit this one that we got in the kitchen box makes me think of like a lovely like sex on the beach cocktail like it's really fruity whereas this is like someone's just squeezed a passion fruit into the bottle it is heavenly i've also noticed on here and on, on a couple of labels that we've received uh, in the kitchen box as well is that on the front of the labels it says reinvented ocean plastic so ocean salt their uh, face and body scrub had ocean uh, plastic labels and I think they must be doing that for all the bottles which is amazing to be reusing something like that so that is something that I'm really excited about now something cool that is coming um this Valentine's Day is kiss me quick shower jelly I'm opening up before I'm even showing you it typical it only comes in one size it says shower in juicy kisses and fresh strawberries is there a more romantic combination and this has got a punch. I'll be honest, the first time I smelled it, I was like, oh, this is not for me. Because I thought it was going to be like the 29 High Street smell, and it's not. Because the Qu Kiss Me Quick wish wash card, when it first came out, was 29 High Street. It was a little yellow one. Then it changed to the lips. This is very fruity and floral. I feel like I can smell pine in it. But I don't know if it's got pine in it. But I'm going to show you what it looks like, because it's a lovely, juicy red pair of lips ready to smooch your body as it cleanses and I'm going to do a terrible job of holding these lips <gasps> thank god that didn't go on my carpet okay there are the lips um can I hold them better probably I'm no hand model there we go sorry it would have looked much better after it hadn't dropped all over my seats but this smells divine it's almost got like like a spice to it. It smells amazing. It comes it comes in one size and it's seven pounds. And I'm gonna go wash my hands because I've got it everywhere. Oh, it smells great. Right, so. Oh, I've just chopped a bit of its lip off. Sorry. Oh dear. Well, I'll put that back in there. Oopsies. Uh, so it says smooth these jelly lips across the body for fruitful lathers of sweet strawberry and carrageen and then rinse and reveal happy soft skin. Glycerin water, carrageen extract, fair trade organic aloe vera gel, fresh strawberry juice, clove bud, there's that spice, uh, mimosa absolute and tonka. So your glycerin is like a natural humectant, so it's going to help hold and retain moisture into the skin. And I've said this many times before, carrageen extract, it is seaweed. It is what makes it all wibbly and wobbly, so it's vegan. Absolutely 100% cruelty free, so it is perfect for everyone. Also, look what's really cute. They have little price stickers on now on the pots. 
So that's really sweet. I like these. Next up, we have another new thing for the body to be washed with. This is the Posh White Chocolate and Rose Body Wash. It comes in two sizes. So you've got the 100 gram pot and then you've got the 225. Five? Yeah, the 225 pot. So this pot here is £10, and then the next size up, the 225, is 18 So it always works out cheaper to get the next size up, but that is it there. Look how stunning that is. So you've got a gilded rose on the top, and it smells gorgeous. It smells a bit like posh chocolate, but with that rose infused in it. And again, you might be thinking, Sarah, you've just said that you don't care about rose. You don't like it that much. But this smells really good together. Yeah, the rose smells amazing. So in here, you have got, let me have a look, uh, glycerin, fair trade aloe vera gel. So anything with aloe in, lovely and cooling and soothing. Uh, rose water, coconut milk powder, Australian sandalwood oil, vanilla absolute rose oil, fair trade Colombian cocoa butter, rose buds, titanium dioxide, citric acid. This is such a dreamy, creamy, soothing, but moisturizing body wash. So if you are missing oaty, creamy, dreamy, if you are wanting a gentle body wash, that gold luster is just on the top. So don't worry about that. This is divine. This is this is gonna be lovely. And it is a classic Valentine's pairing of chocolate and roses guaranteed to make your lover swoon. So that is the body washes. There are some soaps this year and I really wanted to pick up one of them, I can. I bet you can guess which one, but I genuinely can't move for soap right now that it would feel a bit ridiculous buying some soap when I've just got so much of it. Um, although I am working my way through. So the first soap is the Strawberry Heart Soap. This smells so fruity, so yummy. So it is, so this is five pounds per 100 grams. This shares its scent with the Strawberry Santa foaming body wash which is yummy mummy scented so again really sweet there's a lot of links this valentine's day with strawberries and roses and i love that i love it i know there's a lot of prince charming fans out there who are going why hasn't it come back i'm glad there's a different smell this this um <laughs> valentine's day but this looks beautiful as well so in here you have rapeseed oil, coconut oil, rose water, glycerin water, fresh strawberry juice, rice bran oil, fair trade organic aloe vera gel, bergamot oil, olibanum oil, so olibanum is frankincense, so it'll add that little bit of like kind of incensey depth to it. Uh, geranium oil, organic rosehip oil, titanium dioxide, sodium chloride, citric acid. So again, really soothing. Gonna keep the skin nice and clean. The smell is nice for everyone. It's not too floral, even though it's got the rose in. And then obviously the one that I really want, and it smells so good as well, but I really couldn't justify buying more soap when I have so much from the kitchen box in Christmas is the My Little Chia Piglet. So sweet, so sweet. Six pounds each. Um, and this has got oh, just the sweetest, yummiest, creamy smell. It's a hybrid of super milk and milky bath. Do you know, I thought it smelled familiar when I was smelling it. It's just creamy and just yummy. Um, and it's just, oh my God, that's so sweet. It is kind of, kind of um, invented in mind with like, you know, the, the cute little Japanese breads, the tear and share breads. That is so sweet. So it says, these happy piglets are inspired by chia seed puddings. To make this soap, chia seeds are soaked in soya milk, uh, which release a skin softening gel, making it for a milky and moisturizing cleanse. I love chia seed pudding. It is so filling and it's so yummy. So in here, soya milk, uh, glycerin, fair trade organic cocoa butter, you've got water, organic extra virgin coconut oil, organic castor oil, organic extra virgin olive oil, titanium dioxide, chia seeds, litsy kebaba oil, vanilla absolute. So sweet and creamy, so if you love super milk, you're gonna love it. If you love milky bath, you're gonna love it. And if obviously if it's a hybrid of the two, woo, you're gonna absolutely love it but really gentle and soothing and just so cute. If you know someone and you want to give them a gift and they love cute stuff, then you need to get that for them. Oh, I forgot to mention, 
the passion fruit delights are back. So squidgy, looks like marshmallows, same smell as the passion shower gel but if you want to go zero waste if you want a different texture to play with i really like to shave with them they make such a lovely creamy uh texture on the skin when you're shaving so really really lovely i would say to get the best amount of use out of them is to rip off what you need and leave the rest and it's grease proof so in here you've got granulated sugar agar agar gel inverted sugar syrup uh aquafaba fresh passion fruit juice cornstarch butchu oil litsy kebaba oil sweet wild orange oil xanthan gum almond oil and cream of tartar so it's lo it's like a lovely light creamy texture to it and that same gorgeous passion fruit scent Oh god, I love that passion fruit scent so much. It just smells so good. One that I didn't pick up was the Rose Organ Massage Bar. So this is the same smell as Rose Jam and the Flower Bombshell Bath Bomb. I'm just not a Rose Jam person. I can appreciate how pretty it is, but it's not something that I would wear. Really moisturising. And of course, who doesn't want a little sensual massage on Valentine's Day? It is £10 for the bar. It's beautiful. And then you've got Fair Trade Organic Cocoa Butter, Fair Trade Shea Butter, Argan Oil, Rose Water. You've got cornstarch ruby cocoa liqueur uh, pakistani rose absolute rose oil geranium oil sicilian lemon oil glycerin titanium uh, dioxide and talc it's just full of vitamin a super skin softening really just rich and just just gorgeous and such a pamper something nice to pamper yourself or your partner with some cute skincare items uh, that i haven't had a chance to pick up but i'm definitely picking up this one this is the prince charming sheet mask i love frogs frogs are so cute and i don't know how anybody can be scared of them i'm looking at you karen who i used to work with i i just i just think they're so sweet 750 for this sheet mask absolutely beautiful skin brightening and softening full of vitamin e you've got marshmallow root and vanilla pod infusion and you've got glycerin arrowroot powder kaolin water carrageenan extract titanium dioxide grapefruit oil sandalwood oil geranium oil fresh pomegranate juice so if you know someone who loves frogs um but also loves a sheet mask this is a lovely one so the the plastic the plastic wrap that comes that the that the sheet mask comes in that's actually made from cellulose so you can put that once you take the sticker off you can put that in your home compost bin as it's suitable for home composting and then you've got the i heart you ipad these are five pounds and these have got glycerin rose water fresh aloe gel uh, carrageenan extract alkanate extracted in almond oil uh, and red cornflowers super soothing and cooling so this would be quite nice if you paired it with like rosy cheeks or bb seaweed um, or maybe a little bit of beauty sleep something like that then we've got two new lip products so we've got crush lip butter this is here so it's in that wind up style lip balm so, yep and then i'm just going to put some on the back of my hand so i can have a smell smells really fruity with a little bit of a floral note it smells lovely i'm still using my candy cane from christmas i've temporarily lost it but i'm gonna find it so it is six pounds for this lip balm obviously it's fantastic if you uh have chap lips it's lovely and moisturizing it shares its smell with the crush shower gel from back in the day it has got organic castor oil organic jojoba oil glycerin sunflower wax organic shea butter Candelilla wax, and then you've got Brazilian orange oil, grapefruit oil, orange flower absolute, stevia. It's just beautiful. I, I'm feeling it on my hands and it doesn't feel too heavy. It's definitely not sticky. So if you do have dry chap lips, this is going to be the one for you. And it is vegan as well. And then we've got a new lip scrub. Again, on that passion fruit vibe, this is the same smell and taste as the passion lip balm that they used to sell years ago it is let me have a look how much it is it's seven pounds and it is bright pink and i obviously oh i've just spilled it everywhere now technically you're not supposed to eat the lip scrubs but when they smell so good and you get a little bit on your lips i mean how are you not going to so i'll have a little try for you you know it tastes like monster octopus yeah it tastes like monster octopus Oh my god, it's like I'm eating Keith. 
one more for good luck. Yeah, that's beautiful. If you do get dry lips, the lip scrubs are great. They are a natural exfoliator because of the sugar. And then they have a lovely blend of oils, which I'll talk about in a second to hydrate. So you rub it over your lips and then you wipe it off. You can lick it off if you want to, but you can wipe it off as well. And it'll buff away any dead skin whilst getting the moisture in there. And then if you want to, you can put your lip balm on, your crushed lip butter if you wanted to, and you'll find that it'll, your lip balm will be more effective because it's not fighting against any dead skin. If you get cracked lips and you like to wear matte lipsticks, prepping your lips with a lip scrub first and then a lip balm and then putting your matte liquid lipstick over the top will mean that your lips are hydrated and they don't get all like crusty butt, if you know what I mean. Like that sometimes matte liquid lipsticks can do. So just bear that in mind if you wanting, if you do wear liquid lipsticks. Uh, castor sugar, organic jojoba oil, uh, sweet wild orange oil, rose oil, vanilla absolute, cold press, raspberry seed oil, and water. Just gorgeous, absolutely lovely. So, so far, that is everything for the bath, the body, and your lips and face. So let's move on to home fragrance and just fragrance you can technically obviously use the melts in the bath as well but these melts this year are stunning so they've come out with two melts we've got jasmine cream absolutely beautiful it's got little I don't know how well you can see it, little candy hearts on the top i've got i've been doing some painting that's paint oh just smells so good I am obsessed with this smell. So this is Winter Garden Bath Bomb Scent. Um, so if you like silky underwear dusting powder, you're gonna love this. So sweet and milky and powdery and floral. Loads of jasmine, obviously. I know jasmine can be quite a, a Marmite smell, like some people either love it or they hate it, but it is just so beautiful to me. It says, whether a long softening soak is needed or an afternoon of aromatherapy awaits, this fruity floral melt will leave you soothed and relaxed. I mean, they're not wrong. So inside here, I'm gonna read it off the screen because the writing is really small. By the way, it has all the instructions on here to use in your bath or your burner. And I got told, and I like to say this every time I talk about the melts, don't use an eight hour tea lighter, uh, tea light candle use a four hour. It just means that you're not gonna burn through your melt too quickly. So you have fair trade organic cocoa butter, you have glycerol stearate, almond oil, ylang ylang, benzoin resin oil, bergamot oil, cold press, seed, strawberry seed oil, titanium dioxide. So you'll probably hear people refer these to a lot as like wax melts or put them in your wax melt burners. There is no wax in them because they melt in your bath. But it's just, I think it's like ingrained in people to like, they like wax melt. And then the next one, which I'm gonna open up, this is the Queen of Hearts melt, but I'm gonna turn this around after I opened it up. Oh, I've already given it away. I'm gonna open it up first because I want you to see how beautiful this is. And if you are an Alice in Wonderland fan, look at that. Or if you know someone who likes to play cards, stunning. Oh, it's slowly melting into my hands. This is such a divine, pretty, rose floral smell. Again, I know I'm not a rose person, but I like Tissy Totsy. It just, oh, it just smells so good. And it's the same smell as the Queen of Hearts soap, which we got in the Fresh and Flowers box. So in here, you have got a uh, fair trade organic cocoa butter, uh, you've got glycerol stearate, almond oil, geranium oil, rose absolute, violet leaf absolute, organic rosehip oil. They're all six pounds fifty each, these um these two melts. They just smell so good. And although they're floral, they're both so different. I would say jasmine cream is that creamy, powdery, milky floral smell that a lot of people love. Whereas your queen of hearts is, let me have another whiff before I put it down. It's like more of a fresh rose. It's definitely got more of a, a sharper freshness than a sweeter freshness, if that makes sense. Um, but these are absolutely divine. And if you like that sort of powdery rose smell, tissy totsy rose, you'll really enjoy that Queen of Hearts melt. Now, fragrances. We have got the New Romantics perfume. Look at this, gorgeous. So this is a only going to come in the 30 mil and it is 30 pounds so let's have a look let's have a spritz 
So it's very, oh, I've got, well, it doesn't taste nice. <laughs> it's very fresh, fruity, kind of creamy. I'm gonna spritz some on my wrist so I can have a, it's almost kind of got like a, like a berryness to it. It's very interesting. Oh, I like it. I'm gonna see how it wears. Mm. It's it's very unusual. I really recommend going in to smell it. It's, oh, that's, that's very, that's catching me off guard. Mm, it's kind of got a spice to it. Does it have clove in it as well? So you've got um, water, sweet wild orange oil, divana oil, pimento berry oil. No, it doesn't have clove, but it, it just smells so, Oh, there you go, the pimento berry oil adds a spicy base. Yeah, it it's wow. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I'm going to see how that settles, but I like that. Then, this year, for the first time, we have a pillow mist. So this is Goodnight Sweetheart. It is £12, and it is 15 mils. I like this long top and then look at this look at this mister right I'm gonna spritz look at that again delicate powder rolls I think a lot of time when people think of pillow mists they think lavender now we did get a pillow mist called pillow talk in the fresh and flowers box she says with it and with hair and I want to know if it's the same smell but I don't think it is because I think it's got a lot more in it. So I'm going to spritz them on here. Ah, God, I can't get the lid off. Oh. And we're going to have a little spoiler alert of whatever this is. And we're going to have a spritz and see if it's different. The mister is amazing on this. I think they should change the misters on all the perfumes to this. Much more high end and bougie smelling. Yeah, they are slightly different. I'm gonna let the, the alcohol, alcohol top notes come off. So in here, you have got water, ylang ylang, rose absolute, jasmine absolute, sandalwood oil, lemon oil. And then the pillow talk that we got in the fresh and flowers box, it's just water, glycerin, and rose. I will say that this rose for the, from the fresh and flowers box is very rose. Whereas this, the, the good night sweetheart is layered. You can smell like the different flowers that are in there. The sandalwood adds a woody, but a very light, fresh woody note to it, if that makes sense. It's really divine. It is lovely. I, I had a, a thought in my mind that they might be the same, just change the name, put it in a bigger bottle, but it's not. And again, this is my petition to Lush to make all the perfumes have these beautiful misters. Please, please, please. It just makes the experience a lot more luxurious. Uh, so that's 12 pounds. So that is all of the home fragrance and body fragrance. What do you think? Which one of the melts are you gonna get? Which one of the perfumes are you gonna try? Are you gonna come and have a sniff of both? I would love to know. So next up is the gifts for Valentine's Day. So we have the I'm Yours gift. This has the Love Letter bath bomb and the Love Potion bath bomb along with some cute little stickers. Uh, this is uh, 13 pounds, yeah. And what a sweet little box. It kind of reminds me, I know it's supposed to look like a little letter, but it almost reminds me of those cute like little Chinese food cartons that you see like in Friends. I really, really, really love it. I think it's gorgeous. Let me see, see the next one. Then you've got the With Love gift. So this is a shower, shower and bath gift. You've got a 100 gram bottle of the uh, Passion Shower Gel a little pot of the Rose Argan body conditioner and a Titsy Totsy bath bomb. So this is a very floral, decadent bath. And actually, this would make like a nice birthday present as well, or if there's any left by Mother's Day, an absolutely lovely Mother's Day present as well. That is 22 pounds. The packaging is lovely as well with those roses all over it. Now, one that I'm very excited about I think it's just the cutest and it has a matching knot wrap. This is the BFF gift box. So this is an all bath gift. It is 35 pounds. And in here you are gonna get the BFF bubble bar, the love bug bath bomb, the big squeeze bath bomb, and the strawberry crumble bubble rune along with a sheet of stickers. So you're gonna get two, four, six baths along with some stickers. 
So it's just a really cute box. Red and white pinstripes with like what looks like loads of stickers all over it. Perfect for a sharing box if you've got a couple of kids, things like that. Or just for you, because I know I would buy this for me. It is so sweet. I just love everything about it. Then we've got a bougie present. I've been saying for years I miss the heart-shaped card boxes that Lush do for like the big Valentine's Day one. This is lots of love. It's very kind of like 60s vibes. Um, it's really, really sweet in this gorgeous card box. So in here you've got 100 grams of the Passion uh, Shower Gel, 100 grams of the Strawberry Heart Soap, uh, sorry, a 45 gram pot of the Posh White Chalk and Rose Body Wash, a Strawberry Crumble Bubble Rune, a Love Letter Bath Bomb, Sex Bomb Massage Bar, and a Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. Lots of jasmine. Jasmine is a natural aphrodisiac, so again, perfect for Valentine's Day. It's just gorgeous, and that one's £55. And again, fantastic for people who like to collect the boxes as well. Now on to different types of gifting. You want to make your own gift for someone. We have the knot wrap. So I picked this knot wrap up because I freaking love it. Look at this. So cool. I just love it so much. I just love it. It is gorgeous. So fun. So that is um, £7. It's called Sweets for My Sweet. Sugar for My Honey. No, it's just called Sweet for My Sweet. And it's made from fair trade Indian organic cotton. And then we've got another one called Building Together, which is also, this is actually a telefib, this is six pounds. It's very abstract art, designed by Blue Room, Blue, Clo Blue Coats Inclusive Art Project, supporting learned, learning disabled and neurodivergent artists. Blue Room artists explore contemporary art at the Art Centre in Liverpool, Northwest England, with support to create and share their own work. So that's really cool, I like that. Um, and that is made from recycled plastic bottles. Then there is the You Are Amazing Studio Upstairs Knot Wrap. This is 15 pounds, so it's gonna be massive. If you want a Santa sack of gifts for your loved one, get this knot wrap. And again, very arty, abstracty, really cool. The sun is giving kind of like the 90s sun, if anyone knows what that, if, if anyone knows what I mean by that. And it says, designed by Studio Upstairs, an arts and health charity with studios in Bristol and London, which foster creative and therapeutic communities for people with mental health or emotional difficulties. So sweet. I love that they're working with all these amazing independent companies. So you don't have to worry about wrapping the gift up yourself. They'll do it at the till for you. Then we've got the amazing Lockter papers. First of all, this locked up paper, nuts for you. Why isn't this a knot wrap or a tote bag or a little pin? It is so cute. Oh my God, these big fat squirrels. I just love it. Two pounds. And then you've got the abstract rose, which is also two pounds. That's pretty cool. I feel like that one can be Valentine's, but also not too Valentine'sy. So again, you could use that for anything. It's just, they're just really, really pretty. And then last but not least, because nothing says Happy Valentine's Day than two aliens dancing under the beam of a, of a UFO. This is the weirdest, wonderful gift card. So you can use it for anything. It's just really cool. It's not the most Valentine's Day thing I've ever seen, but I think it's fun. But that is everything from the Valentine's Day range. Lunar New Year is coming. I have... An item right there. I'm gonna keep that separate just for a little short video. Um, but I would love to know what you think of this range this year. Personally, I think it's one of the better ones that they've brought out in a while. Uh, mainly because there's a lot of passion fruit in there and I'm a passion fruit gal. But I would love to know what you think down below and what you're going to grab. And if you like this video, you can hit the thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers. And uh, I'm gonna do a giveaway at 4,000, which is gonna be really cool. I love doing giveaways. So it's gonna be international as always. And then, uh, yeah, you can follow me on social media here and YouTube will recommend some videos for you at the end. But thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a long one, um, but I'll see you next video.